Hi, my name is Dr. Amir. Did you wonder why vitamin D has been a hot topic in the last 10 years? It was found that low vitamin D does not only cause a weak bone, but it can decrease the immunity and affect the mood. Also, it has been linked to heart diseases, obesity, and certain types of cancer. Vitamin D is produced by our skin from sun exposure, especially from the ultraviolet radiations. Its main function is to absorb calcium from the intestines, to keep our bones strong, to prevent osteoporosis and bone fractures. What is the normal level for vitamin D? The normal level should be between 30 to 100 nanogram per ml. One of my patients was feeling very tired, having bone pain and muscle cramps. Her vitamin D was 8, which was very low. For the treatment, she was given a shot of vitamin D into the muscles, followed by taking 50,000 units every week, which can be taken either by a daily pill or a weekly pill, for a total of three months. After that, it is recommended to do a blood test just to make sure the level has improved. So what can you do if your vitamin D level is low? To get vitamin D from sun exposure, you should not use sunscreen, but you might get sunburn. For this reason, you cannot rely only on the sun to improve it. Another source of vitamin D comes from food, like eggs and salmon. Also, it could be found in milk, juices, or cereals, which are fortified with extra vitamin D. Lastly, and most importantly, you can get it from taking vitamin D pills. My final advice to you, you should know your vitamin D level, especially if you don't get enough sun exposure, like wearing clothes that cover a large portion of the skin. Most of the time, your vitamin D might be low and you don't have any symptoms. Once you reach your normal vitamin D target level, don't stop it. You should continue on a maintenance dose between 10 to 20,000 units per week, depending on your doctor's advice. It is very important to avoid taking high doses of vitamin D for a long time without doing a blood test. It can lead to a high calcium level in the blood which can be harmful. Finally, if you want to get sun exposure, try to limit it for 15 minutes, either before 11 a.m. or after 4 p.m., about three times per week, but without sunscreen. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. To stay up to date with my latest videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.